confidence. 1948, the idea that good health should be free to all, regardless of wealth. A vision of comprehensive purpose, our own unified medical service, and at its heart, a radical statement. We will meet the needs of every patient. 2018, when I say NHS, what do these three simple letters suggest? Nations uniting to heal the nation, a multicultural conglomeration worth celebrating, worth recognising, just what those letters are symbolising. From the system esteemed as the world's best, to the person who answers your SOS. It's a locum I can call door to door, every blue siren you've pulled over for, the donor cards checked in times of distress, when we rise up to think of someone else. The given of time, a match located, blood transfusions, pints donated. It's the elderly couple holding hands in the waiting room after having scans. The young couple testing out baby names in between the scans and the labour pains. It's the visuals you make at each bedside and the staff that take it all in their stride. The bedrock we turn to in our illness, that extra pillow while you come for less. It's the bad news broken, thoughts and prayers, the comfort in knowing that someone cares. Cures written down on a prescription sheet, take two in the morning, at night, repeat. It's the cooks, cleaners, admin staff, porters, it's future proofing from sons and daughters of break time play and doctors and nurses to growing up, signing up to courses. The power to train the next generation of carers and healers to aid the nation. It's real life where the Hippocratic Oath means seven more secure decades of growth. Larger than us all, yet we all possess this jewel in our crown. It's the NHS.